Why live in cause and effect when you can cause the effect? The currency of mind is thought. The currency of body is emotion. When you pair the two together, when these two get synchronized, together with intention, you will be the cause. You'll become the cause. So instead of trying to cause something, to make something happen for yourself, you become the cause or the power of manifestation. And while this seems simple, Mary the thoughts, emotions, and attentions seem simple. And it is actually pretty on simple. The problem is it feels difficult due to our conditioned mindset. Most of human beings, you might be one of them, if you, and so slow down, don't get offended by this. Just check it out. Check out, hear what I'm saying. Most people are living very robotic lives. We wake up at a certain time. We drink our coffee at a certain time. We hurry out the door for the old J-O-B. We do the same thing at work that we do every single other day with the very same people that we're at work with every single day. And then we hurry home, we take a quick shower, we eat some dinner so that we can hurry up and watch our TV shows so we can go to sleep, so we can do it all over again the next day. Does that sound familiar? And maybe that's not exactly what's going on in your life, but the truth is the vast majority of human beings are living in some very robotic way. We're not doing new things. We're not living as a new creation. If any man be in Christ, in the divine nature, everything is new. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. The newness of the Christ life, what I call the Christ life, some people might call it the Buddha life. You can call it whatever you want. This is the eternal reality of the divine, the eternal self, the one that's beyond the form, right? So, this this nature, in this nature, we're continually creating, we're playing, and new things are continually sprouting from our existence, manifesting in our existence. If new things aren't happening, the then I can guarantee you what is happening. You're aging. So how do you want to escape this? Do you want to escape this aging, dying process? And if you do, you need to realize that the mind is on autopilot 98% of the day. Think about this. Think about driving the car. When you first learned to drive a car, you were very conscious of the car, about shifting the gears, about when you stopped at a stop sign or stoplight, you're paying attention to what's going on around you. You're looking at your map. You're paying close attention. But the more that you drive, eventually you go into autopilot. For most of you, you've probably spaced out and driven up to 30 minutes an hour. I know I have. And not even have any recollection of that time. Completely spaced out, but you're driving because you're in autopilot. Your brain has been so conditioned to drive that it's capable of going through all the motions, checking lanes, turning on signal lights, and driving without your conscious awareness. This is how most of us live our lives. 98% of our day is without our conscious awareness, man. I think about that. It's for real. So, if 98% of our day we're living in unconscious awareness, it means only 2% of the the day we're actually consciously aware. Where, is, where do we have room to change our habits to become something new? The thing is this. We must begin to introduce new things to our life, like positive thinking. But positive thinking don't change the parameters or the old habits of the old self. And so... We, qual we fall quickly back into the old patterns. When you try something new, if you don't stick to that new thing, you'll, fall, you'll find that you'll fall quickly back into those old habits. That just happens. But forget the former things or consider the things of old. For behold, I do a new thing. Hmm. 
To forget the former things, we must be willing to become someone new. We must be born again. Unless a man be born again, he will not see experience manifest the kingdom of God. There is a brand new you within, just waiting to be unearthed. The largest obstacle we face in, in discovering this new self is the comfort that are found in the old self. Don't let comfort keep you from the adventure and the bliss of being. In my upcoming Metaphysical Mindfulness course, I'll be revealing how you can step into and manifest the new self. My passion is to see you come alive, to live in bliss, and to manifest the life of your dreams. So if you want more info on that course, I want you to take a peek below at the link lifeartistry.co. Check it out. We're going to be running some promos very soon, so be on the lookout for those promos. This course, this 12-week course, is only $420, and it begins in less than a month. So check it out now and get in on this life-changing opportunity. <laughs>